safe station. What's up, you beautiful nerds? Welcome back to Nerdy Chic Plays. I'm Richard. I'm Mari, and I'm here with a big Hello Kitty plush because, uh. And we are, are continuing with the next installment of Dead Space Remake. Meep. So, um, when we last left off, we had finally destroyed the barricade to the morgue. The morgue, where they, where they keep all the dead people. I know. On a ship full of undead monsters. I know! Chapter zero to intensive care. Just great decision making on our part. That it's like, what could po it's like, Bubsy quote. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, everything. <laughs> everything. I don't think we need to say that part, hon. I know, but still. Ishimura Clinic. We are unable to accept new patients. Gee, I wonder why. Oh yeah, the they got the triage booths here. Ugh. I got a feeling that I, we we both heard something, but I got a feeling we missed the jump scare. Like I was supposed to look over there or something. Sorry, we are full. <laughs> oh, and I think you'll agree with this scrawling on the wall. Fuck this ship. <laughs> yes! Fuck this ship! Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> yeah, I brought the plush so I could hug it. I so said you got some to see. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hmm. Bring upgrade parts to the bench to improve your weapons and gear. It's like, save me! Save us! No. Uh, I... No, I mean, like, literally. Literally, someone wrote... No? No. Seriously? <laughs> like, save me, save us, scribbled a few times. No. <laughs> okay, I need to... Oh, someone scribbled a picture of the marker, that thing that they were talking about. Oh. This, this, this. It's like... Jeez, uh... Space Odyssey much? <laughs> now serving 999, all dead. Oh. Uh, let's see, another barricade that we can't open. We need a security level... Security clearance required. It's time. Hey! No. Ah! Give them hope, give them strength. Watch, this might be part of Halloween Horror It'll last a bit longer. Uh, we are so fucked, it's time. Sorry, I'm just having fun looking at some of the scrawlings. Don't open that door. Is that a Resident Evil reference? <laughs> Stop! Maybe. Don't open that door! Maybe. Probably the creators were a fan? Oh, I mean, obviously, I mean, I remember they were originally, they were originally planning to do a, you know, Visceral Games, like, when they made the first, you know, uh, back before they, back when they were still EA Redwood Shores, before they got converted to Vis, before they changed their name to Visceral, when they were making the original version of this game, okay, that's a hologram, I was all like, is there a person here? Oh, no, no, it's a hologram. It's another but hologram. But still, it... Yeah. Uh, but, um... Okay, so like I was saying, so the original creators, when they were doing this, like, they originally, like... They were originally going, like, going to try and see if they could basically make System Shock 3. Oh. Oh, it's a hologram of Nicole. We can't handle yeah. the trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, Maybe 
I mean, geez, this dude's knees, his elbow, his chest were fucked. <laughs> like, damn. About to follow Cole's hologram. Oh. Well, I was going to, but I'm also trying to grab stuff. Yes, I know. I'm trying to open this. That doesn't need the clearance. Okay, so what she ran circuit breaker. Ooh, a stasis capsule. Uh, if I shoot that, it'll basically explode into a small stasis field. That's cool. Medical log, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. Report of psychiatric observation for patient Harris B. Employee. Uh, there's his number. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, and regardless of circumstances, not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is not uh, in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Shirello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists... There was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. Well, this is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He's affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. Uh, given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. And that's the end of the log. <laughs> Damn. Uh, funny enough, no, that, that, that make, make it whole comment is one we will be hearing a lot more. Make it whole. It's... As in... Uh, don't, don't, don't try and guess right now. Okay, I'm not, okay, I'm not okay. Going to I'm not going to tell you, but it... It, it does have to do with, like, some of the... Obviously, since, like, you know, he's clearly been affected by some of the stuff going on here. It, it does, does have, have to, to do with what's going on, on here. Mm. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, so uh, the thing is that, um, funny enough, hun, so when, so getting back to the, to the, um, to the origins of the game, so yeah, they were trying to make, they were going for System Shock 3. Oh, yeah. The Dead Space came around in Dead no, 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 that's, that's what I'm saying. Dead Space, uh, the project was originally going to be System Shock 3. Uh, oh. That, you know, it, you know, they were trying to actually, like, officially do it, which they could because they were working for EA at the time, so... And EA had the rights. Gotcha. But then... RE4 came out. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Apparently, this is the quote... Oh, oh yeah, no. This, this is the shit. You know, the emphasis on this is the shit. Uh, they went and from, oh yeah, we're going to try and make System Shock Three to we're going to we're going to ape Resident Evil now. Oh. Uh, ah yeah, I know. You're all like, you just had to do something like that, didn't yeah. you? Uh. I opened the door to the showers. Okay. Uh, classic. Horror movie death scenes. There we go. Oh. Or tropes. Or tropes. What? I mean, 
In almost every single horror movie, there is a death in a shower. Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. Not enough to figure out a cure. I need. Wait, where's that report from engineering? Oh, here. The engineers pulled something out of the machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. No. Well, not only that, I kind of thank the original version of Psycho for that. Well, that's cool. But remember, we're also following a lot of her stuff, because remember, oh, yeah. she's Isaac's girlfriend. Right. And you came up to the station because... Oh, that's... Remember, he volunteered for this gig because it's the Ishimura, because she's here. Mm-hmm. I remember these are long range deep space missions. Like, he yeah. hasn't seen her for like about a year and a half, almost two. Dang. Right. Okay, so. So, something like. Okay. Power cells to remove the battery and ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Okay. Okay, so we turn off the door to to the or we turn off the shower. Okay. So now we've got a battery, a power cell. Uh, Where the fuck are you hiding? Yeah. 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 Come on. Come, on. Come play with. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Well. There we go. Die, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, why don't you die? <laughs> uh. Okay, I see you, motherfucker. Huh? Gotcha. <sighs> Me. <sighs> <laughs> Even Isaac agrees with me. <sighs> Getting tired of this shit. <laughs> okay, power cell. In place. ER hallway A. Morgue through here. Yeah. More dead. Ah, that's the... That's the door that was blocked off into this part of the... Of the ER. Yeah. Ah! Hey, hold on, come back here, you little fuck! Come back here and die! Die! 
<laughs> that fucking scared me. Yeah. Uh. Oh! Ow. Ow. Don't mind me, I'm getting kitty. Oh, and of course, now I find one of the frickin' spike things right here. One of the really? what? <laughs> one of the, like, spike things. I'm One of the pieces of or something oh. that I've been using as, like, a spike. <laughs> yeah. You know, stuck those fuckers to the walls and that shit. Javelin. Yeah. Huh. A mail icon? Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you all locked me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Mm. <laughs> that didn't sound ominous at all. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Completely, totally normal thing to hear from someone who's just labeled as patient. True. Okay, there's something to... Oh, an O2 station. Why is there an O2? Ah, now see, I had that javelin. Ah. Oh, of course he had friends. Me? Two friends. <laughs> yeah. I guess that one already dropped his goodies. <laughs> mm. Oof. And fuck, fuck you again. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> crates, crates on. I know. Sorry. Population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Yeah. I'll see. Intensive care unit. Hey. Reminder, all surgery must be... Open. Registered via rig link. Open. Oh, hey, person. Ah, uh, living person. Yay for a living. Ah, oh, and she yeah. just killed a patient on a table. Ah, uh, looks like she's one of the doctors or something. She's wearing surgical scrubs. Mm. Uh, fuck. She's looking at us now. And oh, fuck, we've been spotted. No, and she just cut her own throat and. 
Oh, she's dead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's not freaky at all. Yeah, I know. Probably. Yeah, not freaky at all. Mm hmm. Agreed. Yep, just a totally, totally normal thing to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what looks like an exam table and another one of these little sterile pod things. Mm. Like when that lady, you know, that lady doc just killed that dude in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just like a... You know, a dead infant on the table. Yeah, uh, that's... Uh, well, it's probably one of those clone ones, so... Probably. Who knows, if it, who knows if it even actually was a... You know, who knows if it even actually was that of a... Of a true kid, or just another one of these weird clones they had. Mm. They're gonna save here, because I got a feeling. <laughs> you got a feeling... Exactly. Two more. Cadaver storage capacity exceeded. Oh, j yeah. Uh, ah! Entering ah! vacuum. No, explosive decompression. Something hit the window. This is an outside window. Right. Holy fuck! Yeah, that wasn't monsters attacking us, hon. Remember, we're on a spaceship in space. Right, right, right. I kind of felt like we were watching, what was it, Friday the 13th of space? <sighs> That's not to say a motherfucker didn't try and sneak up on us. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> Give me your goodies. <laughs> Ooh, battery. <laughs> battery. <laughs> yeah, sorry, music usually calms me down. <laughs> Elevator. Oh yeah, sure. Nothing bad ever happens in a horror movie in the elevator. Unless if you're meeting the devil. Next I am night come on. Open. Open. Ah, you can recharge. Open. And last. <laughs> one of the doors just popped open. <laughs> like one of the cabinet doors just popped open. And shut up. Well, I'm telling you what happened there. Yeah, I gotcha. <sighs> yeah, more scribblings and stuff. Ooh, a stasis pack that will be handy. Probably means oh, uh, oh, and there's a stasis tank in here. Give me a stasis tank. You know, like an exploding barrel type? Mm-hmm. Okay, text log means we're probably not going to get attacked right away. Mm-hmm. Medical log, Dr. G. Domus, medical examiner. Report of death on ship subject, Captain Matthias. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. Subject was in good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle, a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicate he was restrained likely for a brief period. The cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. He got stabbed through the eye. <laughs> Holy shit! 
The angle of penetration into the ocular or cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Yeah, meaning he did not stab himself in the eye. Someone did it to him. <laughs> oh, murder. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death, whether deliberate or accidental, is beyond my jurisdiction. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so basically even the medical examiner was saying, eh, look, I can't prove that this was... You know, that they intended to stab him in the eye, just that he got stabbed in the eye. <laughs> so... Autopsy room. I found the autopsy room. Yay. Here's the captain. Hello. And the music doesn't help. Rolling over to access his rig. Because remember, it's linked to everyone's spine. Right. Oh! Hello! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, what is this horrible bat creature? What? The oh, just stabbed the captain. Oh, just stabbed the captain. The captain's corpse in the head, and and, and oh god, oh god, he's getting up. What? Oh god, he converted him. <laughs> Holy shit! Do you see? Him? I told you that shit that we were just getting started. Yes. Yeah, the captain. The captain's a zombie now. Oh, and he's a tough motherfucker, too. Oh, this little fucker! He was trying to jump on another corpse! Oh! Jesus Christ, he's not going down! Of course not! Jesus Christ, he's almost skeletal at this point! So, he's almost like Wesker! Oh, no, 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 Wesker is so much worse, hun. Do not, do not ever compare that. To okay, fine. Sorry. There's blasphemy there, hun. Sorry! <clears throat> also, they never tried blasting Wesker down to his bones. It never worked. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Captain's rig. I have it now. What's your status? Mm. Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! <laughs> Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has Stay something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. If we could get there. I mean, yeah, we can. We literally just go back the way we came. Oh, good point. Your security clearance has increased. Higher, higher clearance stores and lockers now accessible. Yay! We have access level one, which means, oh, hey, this door to the emergency room, aka immediately out of here without having to wind all the way back through. Possible. I think there's something. Eh, I think I heard something crawl. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, hun. Mm. Oh. But yeah. Oh, you know what? I am now going to. St er, you know, I was I was kind of waiting for those to show up so that I could actually explain. Yeah, hun, I'm gonna be like smashing up corpses because the thing is, if they're fucked up, the re those little reanimator bats can't reconvert them. True. They need to be a mostly intact body. <laughs> right. Huh? Oh, something shook the elevator. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's just a static. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Okay, it sounds like it lost gravity. Well, again, we're in space and the gravity of a planet, you know? Uh-huh. Star Trek, you know. Yeah, I know. 
I know. Yeah, you know, the the ship, you know, the ship usually has to keep moving with its engine and stuff in order to, you know. Right. You don't have to explain any further. I've seen enough of the movies and anything else that you show me. And also Discovery. Well, the whole the whole decaying orbit thing doesn't always come up in the show, hon. So. Uh, true. You might not have known about that. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, that's generally how it works. There, the engines are what keeps the ship, you know, in orbit. Hmm. Just checking quick to see if there was any lockers or stuff that we didn't open yet. True. Doctor Mercer. Appointments only. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, and you hear her creepy, creepy. He whispers on the radio yep. and stuff. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, it looks like most of the security clearance one stuff for now is probably, you know, mostly heading back the way we came. You know, back towards the flight deck, so. little hidey hole no Surface breaker. Open. Open. Node upgrade points for when we get to the bench again. Inventory. The old semiconductor. Cell. Database. Money cutter. Money! Okay, a special upgrade part for the plasma cutter. Nice. Ooh. And of course, we got to get back to a bench first. Mm-hmm. Level security clearance required. Boo. Ah oh, man, still have it. See, this game's actually... It's like, funny enough, yes, we are going to... With all those other things, obviously we're going to have to come back here at some point. Mm. Frickin' A, I did the slowdown thing and it still hit me. Ow. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Holy shit! Slow him down. 
shot one of his limbs off. What? Grabbed the limb and then threw it back at him. Ha ha. Killed his ass dead. Ha ha ha. Was not expecting that. <laughs> oh yeah, remember they can appear just about anywhere. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, just about anywhere. <laughs> ah, you. He just tapped me on the shoulder. <laughs> At least we're not going to Halloween Horror Nights this year. Yeah, and the nice thing, hon, we will never get attacked on the tram. Yay. Bathroom, thank you for washing your hands. Fuckers got in here and infected some people. <laughs> We're seeing the beginning of the game again with Chen getting attacked really? the way he was stabbed right in front of us. Oh, yeah. stuck on the mm -hmm. other side of this glass over mm -hmm. here. I was like, for a moment. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of showing us, okay, so yeah, he so yeah, he got stabbed through the back. Uh. <clears throat> Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar door. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. That's uh, sound promising. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. <laughs> 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 what What just happened? I smacked. I smacked the corpse. Oh. See, a nice thing, we're still, they've still got, uh, like, the oxygen force field going on here, so. Uh -huh. So, you know, for example, that's why, like, the oxygen thing hasn't kicked in. Oh. Mm. 
No habla español. No habla español. No habla español. Okay, that's, that sounds creepy. Here we go. Uh. At least you didn't have to exhale. Just now we got big room with a bunch of stuff in it, so it's like, huh. Yay! Stuff! Oh, oh, thank goodness. <sighs> no, trust me, you'll know when there's monsters around. They can't I help but go. I know. No, they can't help but go. Ah! I know, I know. Sorry. Sorry. It's just that. I have the 3D sound, remember? It does not help with the creepy effect. Mm. Just saying, they, you know, they, they make themselves nice and loud and heard. Right. So, uh, you know. Right, kind of like that bat thing. Mm -hmm. And remember, hon, there's ambient noises because remember, right. the ship is infested. We don't know when right. we're going to get attacked. Right, right. But a lot of those noises don't. But just because you hear the noises doesn't mean there's something here. I know, I know, but, 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 but it just has the creep factor. Oh, so mentally. <sighs> Don't mind me, guys. Long day. Mm. 
Yeah, and here's the wreck of our ship, by the way. Oh. Damn. Well, oh, just remember, we're back in the flight deck, you know, yeah. where all this happened. Yeah. So, where's our comrades? Or comrades? Oh, he's, he's still up on the bridge. bridge. Oh, right. Daniel's for all, for all we know, she's, she's dead. dead. Probably, yeah. yeah she, she ran off in another direction. Who's saying another one of these fuckers didn't jump out of the vent? And some get her. Yeah, that's true. Granted, until we confirm that one way or the other, we don't know. Mm hmm. Just in for now, the only person we are in contact with is Hammond. Gotcha. He's on the bridge. Mm hmm. That's why he wanted the captain's rig code so that he could basically. You know, you know, bypass, bypass security. security. Mm. You know, it's, it's the same as having the dude's password. password. Right. Okay, this seems to be everything we can do in here at the moment, so... Mm. So I'm gonna head back over to the circuit breaker. Off to the cargo rail tracks because that seems to be the thing that will actually uh, move us forward. Mm. Did I just. I guess breath control? Track controls. Oh, oh. It can sound a little bit different in my ear. You know, it sounds like pest control in my ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm remembering this one now. Like, There we go. Hmm. Day to day. 
this. Take the base. Oxygen recharge. The freaky little space babies. Oh! <clears throat> More space babies. At least there's no boogie mountain. Or boogie mountain. Uh, that's not good. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, mm -hmm. we're outside. Mm hmm. Space. Yeah, well, for sort sure. of. Well, space ish. Oh, yeah, no, actually, yeah, just space. We are. Yeah, space. I don't know why, but it feels a lot more peaceful out here, even though despite the creepy music. Yeah, the warning, turn around, you're about to go out of bounds, because if you go out of bounds here, well, all the space debris that's flying by the ship is going to hit you. Oh. Well, at least you won't be ending up in Saturn as this. <laughs> Saturn's the next game, huh? Not this one. We're, oh, oh, we're, never mind. Like, we're not even in the solar system in this one. Oh, whoops. Yeah, Aegis 7 is well outside of our solar system. Oh. That's the point. We have expanded beyond the solar system in these games. Oh. I'm just saying we got brought back to... to the sprawl. Ah. Whoops. <laughs> which is basically Titan Station. Oh. Sorry. Well, I well, honey, I know you don't know this stuff, that's why I'm telling you. Well, also, I was thinking back to Space Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and, and actually, we're getting pretty close, so 
I'm going to try and find the next save point. Hope it's actually fairly close. Ah. Well, that was a long tractor space. Drop that for now. Oh, let's see. Clearance confirmed. Yay! Can you please tell me to. We are not punished for our sins, but by them. Yeah! Textlog will read that at the beginning of the next installment. Uh, for now, trying to get to a safe end. Mm. Oh, I hope this doesn't. Orbital position compromised. Correct course immediately. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Can y'all give me a point? Okay, we're at a we're at a station. Yay! Save point. There we go. Save your progress. Empty save slot. Empty save All right, cutting it kind of close there. But oh, save point. So yeah, uh, we will pick back up in the next install. And, uh, so we will uh, see you guys next time. Yep. See ya. I'm Richard. I'm Mark. This has been Nerdy Sheep Plays. Till next time.